We are the 1st of September 2021. I went and got some sun images, but these are not mine. I'll let you know when mine show up. This is Darla Lama's channel. I love you, Darla. Of course, famous supporter of Brucey's All channel. Mod, going to make her feel a little shy. Um, no, uh, seriously, at 1 o'clock, I started filming outside. And this is Darla's work you're looking at. So, and I say work. Yeah, it's an, a pretty amazing capture. It is just an image, all the same. Interesting. We're going to, like, when I convert things, um, I can often see if it's light reflection and stuff. I'm, I'm studying it myself. So, Cindy Luhu channel is also going to do some uh, close ups or whatever she has to do with it, which is pretty cool because it'll be a couple people playing with this image. And check it out. Now, scenarios theories for me and uh, uh listen at one o'clock i went out to film it at 1 15 i emailed darla can you see the sun with a halo around it she went outside and emailed me anyways a little bit after about an hour after but she went outside at 1 23 as i see on her video so she got my email 10 minutes after went outside and um, started taking some shots also of the halo because I wanted some examples of, of things. Th and she found this in it and told me to take a look at it because uh, it was very interesting. So now we're looking at it um, with a simple conversion. And I'm going to zoom up, obviously, very, very slowly so that you can see. We see, visually, we can see a black donut at the end of a white ball that seems to be leaving a trail of smoke behind it and there are veins inside of it as D uh, darla had told me in the email take a look let me know if you see any ve like veins in it yeah literally looks like an eyeball with veins in it but fireballs this is what i think it is um, or a ufo a downed ufo coming into the atmosphere but listen the sun is very active and with the genesis sunspot i mean hey check it out watch when you zoom in it's actually very, very scary. Um, just shooting it out there. I'm going to have Darla's video in the link. Go check it out. No manipulation here. I just zoomed up on uh, Darla's work. And Darla, thanks so much for sharing it. This is pretty awesome. But what was supposed to happen is that Darla sends me an Im image with, of course, no, nothing professional that you would not have caught anything. And I would have been able to capture this beautiful object in the sky. Look at the news. Um, and back up just a week's time, and all week, they're talking about fireballs entering the atmosphere. Darla, that is exactly what I saw going over my head, a golden object. But the way you c captured it, no infrared on top of it. Uh, look, everybody, it's coming directly from the sun, uh, directly aligned from the sun. It could be a giant ball of plasma or downed UFO or just debris. So in general... What are halos around the sun? And also, what are the halos around the moon? Not necessarily talking about sun dogs here, but the halos are, so they say, if you look, them up, if you look that up, they will say that it is cirrus clouds, cirrus clouds that are very high up in the atmosphere, over top of our heads, very cold. And of course, that would be causing um, the rainbows the halo effect they say it's an optical illusion yet darla was able to go outside and confirm seeing it when she's many kilometers away from me <laughs> so you gotta wonder if it's an optical illusion or not so our eyes see this optical illusion and it's caused by tiny ice crystals again so they say just information that i went out and get there we can come up with a whole bunch of theories like first of all the sun's about to explode <laughs> other reasons but in general you could tell it is due to the atmosphere and you see that reflectivity incredible reflectivity that causes that rainbow effect around the sun so tiny ice crystals high up in cirrus clouds
this is Venus. Um, remember last year we got it flashing. So there's some type of disturbance, obviously, whether electrical or maybe the atmosphere around Earth, the magnetosphere, maybe it's Venus. Just a lot of people will say, well, it's just the atmosphere. Yeah, but you know what? I've been filming for not a thousand years, but started my sixth year of research and you ju I've just never seen that. So, you know. Atmosphere or not, obviously I don't film when it's cloudy. Yes, there can be clouds that we don't see. But uh, here in slow motion, there is some disturbance. Listen, if all these spots are on the sun, especially the Genesis spot, um, it's affecting Earth's magnetosphere. I can only imagine how it's affecting Venus. So check this out. This is the regular size that we can see um, right there Jupiter with one of its moons alongside and you can see the stars in the background other moons but look how I saw Jupiter last night okay okay I'm doing this oh, shit Jupiter slows what what the hell but I know Jupiter's not that close because the moons would have followed the moons are still the same size. Now listen, there's no zoom here because the other moons would also be close. And not only am I going to prove it, uh, it could be one of the moons that are, are causing this, but a very odd cloud effect. Listen, we talk about phenomena in space. The Pentagon saying there's lots of light phenomena, etc., and a whole bunch of stuff going on. Check this out. So I'm filming it. I'm saying, what the hell? Wow, lots of disturbance on Venus. We uh, check planet Venus. And now I'm looking at Jupiter. And it, now keep looking. I mean, I should play a, a Jimi Hendrix song with this. I mean, it's just going to spiral out like it's some type of cloud formation, which whatever, for whatever the reason the camera picked it up, it could be the moon beside it, but check it out. It goes back down to regular size. So that was so trippy. I just wanted to share it. Again, I'm just showing you what I see visually sometimes with the camera. If we see a lot of people um, seeing this. So let's do it backwards. Check it out. That's exactly what happened to Jupiter. Was there something in the atmosphere or an explosion or, or, or disturbance or dusts? Or uh, obviously there's something, right? Now we just showed it backwards. And let's play it forward again a little faster so you can see the effect. So obviously this is not real time. It's... Oh, I'd say about 200 times faster. Check it out. We see it getting smaller and smaller, and then all of a sudden, it gets back down to the size of uh... a... <laughs> yeah, just wanted to share that. Holy crap, is it ever getting bright, guys? So this is way, way east to the right, and of course, electrical bloody <laughs> wire in the way. I don't know if I can get around it. Hey, look, it's a floating plasma ship. <laughs> Exposure taken down, quite simply. Look at that. Sun dogs. This is way east to the right side of the sun. But inside of the cloud, this piercing light, this orange fiery color around it. And again, not saturated, just exposure taken down. You can see so much details when we do so. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. Cause disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming.
coming 